Right, so I'm here with my A2 class. I've got Ryan, say hi Ryan. Hey. Bilal. Hi hey. Amir. Hey. Abdullah. Hello Allah. Nizar. I'm on love. <laughs> and Amiru. Hello. And we're going to look at uh, a January um, 2011 paper four question, and it's a question looking at um, genetics. Now, see, this is at the back now, which is not great, so what I'll do is I'll just shift this one to the front, and it comes to the front, and I can show you the question. And uh, Ryan's going to read the question out to you. Okay, so Sardinia is an island in the Mediterranean Sea. Many of the plants and animals on islands such as Sardinia show distinct physical and behavioral features that are different from those found in closely related mainland populations. Pause there. And now, uh, Bila? The Sardinian wild boar is an example of this. Lovely. So in the photograph below. There's the little wild boars. They're, uh, they're not peas, they're boars. So they're different. Wrong. And we've got, yep, yeah, definitely. And we've got a question here. I'm going to bring that to the front. And this is a two mark question. I have accidentally cut off the, the two mark bit. Was it one mark question? Let's have a quick look. Maybe it's a one mark question. Oh, right. okay. We've lost it. Oh, it's a one mark question. Okay, so hang on. Let's just pop on there that it's only one. Sorry, mark. It's good to write the answer as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we've done that, lovely, that's our one mark question to remind us, and we can just move that off to one cool. side, so we know it's a one mark question. So, uh, what's the, the question going to, what's my answer to the question be, what is the gene pool, and we can type this in, uh, Bilal wants to type it in, so off you go Bilal. Um, the total number of different alleles. Oh, yeah, it's the recording team, everything we're saying. Oh, so all this thing's moving around, it's also recording yeah, that? Yeah, recording the whole oh, thing. The fact yes. that Bilal's typing on there, you, you can use the laser pointer, so in a second I can use a laser pointer, we can pop an arrow in there for fun. And it's recording all of that, everything we're saying, everything's going population. straight into it. Population. Actually. Okay, we'll just hit it, we'll, we'll be fine. Oops. Oh my god. That's the, yeah, I think you probably shouldn't have uh, whacked, yes. whacked in there on that. Hang on, let's see if we can... No. Delete that and you can go again. This time maybe Abdullah won't invade <laughs> with these giant fingers. <laughs> Sorry. The total number of the fruit. Just click on the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The key thing, guys, is how quick is this? This is really quick and it's yeah. all recording. Okay, lovely. It's interactive, that's the It's best interactive part. and that's great. So there we are with that, and we're done with uh, that. We take that, so that's okay. So now we've got our um, answer and our one mark answer. All happy with that one mark answer? Yep. yep. Brilliant, okay. So what we'll do now is we're going to shift uh, this to the back and shift it all over to the side. That we don't need, this one we don't need. And we're going to go to our, our next question, uh, which we'll bring to the front. And this one's on adult frequency, so we're going to go to Nizar uh, and also to Amiral for this one. So Amiral and Nizar, we'll just swing this round. Okay. And what I need to do is, I, I, I mixed off again how many marks it was, so I'll do is I'll whack in the fact that it is a one mark just drag question. I'm oh, sorry, it's two mark question. Sorry, it's two mark question, so it's that's different. One is it one mark? Oh, dearie me, okay. I could have just dragged the other one. I'm going to write it out again though, because I'm old fashioned like that. Okay, so that's one mark, tick, and we'll just move that over there. So, what do we think? Annual frequency. Take it away, lads. Uh, the good start. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of alleles. Of so only one alleles. Hmm? Yeah. Only one there. No, I mean like all and Alele, so... Type, Amira, one you can type as well. The amount of an Alele. The amount of an Alele, can we add to that? Chaps, yes. can we add to that? So the amount of an Alele, can we add any more detail for that, for the, for the mark? Mm -hmm. We're part of the way there. What I was going to say is the Alele frequency is... Can it, like, do we kind of... Well, you can, just add, you can add to that. Can you add to that? So, what would you say, Ryan? I would say um, the number of times an allele appears within a specific population. Yeah, so we could say uh, the frequency that an, an allele appears, or the amount of times an allele appears. Yep. And so, we could, just, we could just adjust that's so the amount of times. Uh, there we go, just add it in there. Just edit it. No, no, no. I do that. Just we should uh, never use the word amount. We shouldn't use the word amount, yeah, but for this, we'll just frequency. play around. The amount of times and the allele. And what the frequency is. Yeah, oh, I mean, if you, so we just say the amount of times, or the number of times an allele appears within a species or a 
population of species. Are and they species? Yeah. Well, population being quite implies that it's a species. Its population is the total number of a species. Lovely full stop there. And that's it. That's cool. And then that's our answer. And we just tick yes, and that pings on there. And we uh, are finished recording. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, welcome to QAS uh, A2 Biology. We're looking at a past paper from January 2011. It's Unit 4, the Natural Environment and Species Survival, and we're looking at question 7B, part 2. Question B says, suggest how the two subspecies, Soscrofa meridionalis and Soscrofa scrofa, have developed from a single ancestral population. If you notice, the question has an asterisk symbol, which... Uh, shows which indicates that the student's discussion and writing composition will be assessed by the examiner. Up to five marks are available, so giving five valid marks would be possible from the 11 in the mark scheme. First one we have is reference to a few ancestral boar reaching the island in the past. The second one might be referring to the two populations being geographically separated uh, by uh, rising sea levels or volcanic eruptions and other uh, environmental factors. So because the two populations are ge geographically separate, the population cannot inter interbreed. And, uh, and af because the population cannot interbreed, the gene flow between population prevented. The fifth mark you can get is to say that only a small number on, uh, of um, the species are on the island uh, of other poor for breeding. Uh, also reference to founder effect. For the sixth mark, all you had to do was um, refer to the, the, the fact that um, it's restricted or limited variety of islands. So for the seventh mark, you could have a reference to mutations, which means that the, the different, two different species might have different mutations that take place in, in their specific allele frequencies. Or the eighth mark you'd get is different environmental conditions and selection pressures on each island, so that it would lead to a different set of adaptations. The ninth mark can be obtained by mentioning changes in allele frequencies. What you have to elaborate on is the fact that different environmental selection pressures will lead the species to species in different areas to um, have different allele frequencies of one allele. And the tenth mark can be obtained by saying that this in turn leads to phenotypic or physiological or physical or behavioral changes. Um, for the last mark you need to give reference to possibility of allopatric speciation. All five marks, you can refer to Hamannas. <laughs>